six adopted kids whose birth parents were notorious criminals. Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Beyond Crazy. 6. Kathy Gilchrist Kathy Gilchrist didn't know who her biological parents were for the first six decades of her life. But after she learned the horrifying truth about her father, Gilchrist was glad she was older by the time she found out. A DNA test in 2017 led her to connect with a third cousin who was an amateur genealogist and helped Gilchrist in her search. They discovered that Gilchrist's biological father was William Bradford Bishop Jr., who allegedly murdered his own mother, wife, and three sons in 1976. Working in Washington, D.C. As a Foreign Service officer at the State Department, Bishop learned that he had been passed over for a promotion on the same day that he is believed to have bludgeoned his family members to death. Authorities think he transported their bodies from Bethesda, Maryland, to Columbia, North Carolina, and set fire to them in a shallow grave. 5. A Toronto adoptee shocked by father's identity. Beginning around 1980, an unnamed man, originally from Toronto, spent 16 years searching for his biological parents before locating his birth mother, an actress from England, who was living in Delaware at the time of their reunion. Like many adoptees, he had felt like something was missing and hoped that finding his biological parents would provide him with a sense of connection. Married with a child of his own at this point, he was disappointed to find that his birth mother didn't seem to be interested in establishing a relationship with him. However, what she told him about his birth father was truly shocking. He was a notorious murderer, convicted of one of the most despicable sex crimes in Toronto's history, the rape and murder of a nine-year-old boy. 4. Samantha Bryan Samantha Bryan was raised by her biological mother, Katie, and her stepfather, who had adopted her. Katie had escaped an abusive relationship while she was pregnant with Samantha. However, it wasn't until she was 14 years old that Samantha learned the identity of her biological father, convicted killer Ian Huntley, who lured two 10-year-old girls into his UK home in Soham, Cambridgeshire, in 2002 and fatally attacked them. When it was discovered that they were missing, one of the biggest manhunts in Britain's history ensued. He was arrested and sentenced to life in prison. 3. Nicholas Cruz while she was not as infamous as her mass-murdering son, Brenda Woodward, the birth mother of Parkland shooter Nicholas Cruz, had a long, disturbing rap sheet full of violent and drug-related crimes. According to the Tampa Bay Times, she had a reputation as a one-woman wrecking crew among law enforcement and drug treatment circles in Broward County throughout the 1980s, 1990s, and 2000s. Some believe genetics may have played a part in his heinous actions. Brenda Woodward's past was littered with arrests for a variety of alleged crimes, including grand theft, burglary, and domestic violence. The longtime drug user also got caught buying crack cocaine while she was well into her pregnancy with Cruz, who was born just a few months later. 2. Rebecca Babcock Even though Rebecca Becky Babcock had what sounds like an ideal childhood with her adoptive family, she was understandably curious about why she wasn't with her biological parents. At the age of 11, Becky discovered that her birth mother was notorious convicted murderer Diane Downs, who shot her three young children multiple times, killing her seven-year-old daughter, Cheryl, in 1983. Downs claimed someone else was responsible for the shooting. When she was arrested months later, Downs was pregnant with Babcock, who was taken by the state. Her other two children, Christy and Danny, were adopted by the prosecutor in the case. Babcock struggled as an adolescent and feared that she would be like her birth mother. She dropped out of school, took drugs, and was pregnant at 17. She raised her son but gave a second child up for adoption. 1. Valentine Michael Manson One of the most infamous criminals in history, the convicted mass murderer and cultist Charles Manson, who died in 2017 after nearly 50 years in prison, fathered at least three children, including Valentine Michael Manson, born in 1968. His mother was Manson's wife at the time, Mary Brunner, a convict several times over, paroled in 1977. The boy was brought up by his grandparents, who adopted him, and his name was changed. He had a loving and mostly average childhood but initially learned about his biological father from classmates in elementary school. He said that he did not feel a connection to Charles Manson but has come to believe the theory that Helter Skelter was something that was manufactured to cover something else up and that Manson did not order the murders. 
This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen, because I'm sure you'll love them.